Hi, I'm Carrie from Top of the Hill Fitness, and today we've got a bit of everything for you in a 30-minute home workout. We'll do a warm-up, a cardio segment, a hit segment with some faster in- intervals, and finish with a targeted strength segment. Let's get going with a warm-up. High knee march for 30 seconds. So just a nice moderate warm-up pace here. Knees as high as you can lift them. And nice running arms. Just eight seconds to go. And we'll move into a continuous stretch. So up to mountain, dive down, forward fold, halfway lift, and roll in up to mountain pose again. We'll do this continuously for 15 more seconds. Halfway lift and roll up to mountain, dive down and roll up one more time. An inchworm is next, so from standing, we're gonna inch our way out to plank position and back to standing. And just keep going with this for the next 15 seconds. We'll do a side leg lift on the right hand side next. Thinking about your balance and keeping up a continuous motion here. Let's move to the other side. Side leg lift with the left leg. Keeping up that balance. About 10 seconds to go. And we'll move into a leg swing on the right side. So forward and back with the right leg using the wall for balance. And we'll just switch to the other leg. Go ahead and swing the left leg. Forward and back, nice and continuous. About 15 seconds to go. And come on down to the mat. We'll do a continuous hamstring stretch. So first on the left side, going from a, a low lunge position, leaning forward, and then straightening out the leg. And changing legs. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So leaning forward and coming back. Great, that's our warm up. And we've got a few seconds before we move into the cardio portion of this workout. It'll take seven minutes to do the cardio. We've got all jumping jacks all the time in this one, seven different kinds of jumping jacks. We'll do them each for 45 seconds and take a 15 second rest between them. We'll start out with a regular old jumping jack. Okay, get going with the jumping jacks. We'll wanna keep up a nice pace here so that our heart rates go up a bit, but never feeling like this is really unmanageable. 
we're not going to be going all out in the cardio portion. Just a nice bit of continuous exercise. In the next sec segment, I'll show you the modified jumping jack or a step jack, and you can use that uh, in substitution for any of these jumping jacks if you feel like they're a bit too tough. Okay, and just take your recovery here. Keep moving. We'll do the step jack next. So this is the modified jumping jack. You're stepping out to the side, but a nice swing arc on the arm action. So you're still definitely getting something out of this and keeping it up for 25 more seconds. Take a little recovery here, roll it out. Our next one is a squat jack. So this one will take things up a notch. Okay, from squat position, whatever squat position you can maintain. Yours might be lower or higher than mine. You're just going out and back in with your feet. Continuous action here. About 20 more seconds. little recovery here, shake off that burn in the quads. We're gonna do a crossover jack next. This is a fun one. So you're crossing over the arms and the legs and think about alternating which arm is on top each time it comes in and which foot is in front each time the feet come in. About 20 seconds to go. Little recovery here. Our next one is the seal jack. So you're just bringing your arms in for a clap in front of you. You should be feeling like this is a bit of work now. We're more than halfway through the cardio segment. And come on down to the mat to get ready for the next one, which is the plank jack. So that's just out and back in with the legs. Trying to maintain a nice plank position through this one. A 
and keep the actions going. Continuous. About 20 seconds to go. And our last recovery before our last jumping jack, which will be a split jack. So this one looks a lot like jumping lunges, depending how low you go with your legs. Um, but all the motion is in the forwards and backwards plane. So we've done a lot of side to side action on these jumping jacks, but this one's a little different. We've got about 10 seconds to go. We get a longer recovery before we move into the hip portion of the workout. So we'll take a recovery here and we can talk about the painting by Fiona Ackerman on the wall behind me. It plays homage to the botanical artists of the 18th century. Fiona became interested in the stories of the women who illustrated scientific texts and were able to gain entry through art into a realm of science that was largely closed to them. Let's move into the hit portion of our workout. It'll take eight minutes to do. We've got five groups of exercises in an ABAB format. Each will be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds recovery. Our first is a side to side hop, sometimes called skaters. Just 10 seconds to go. These go by quick. And we'll take a quick recovery. Come on down to the mat for push-ups. And as many push-ups as you can do in 20 seconds. Goes by fast. Do these from your knees if that feels more manageable. Come on back up for the side to side hops. We'll do those again and then back to push ups. Side to side, nice little leap there. Try to keep the pace up. And come on back down for the push-ups, our last set of push-ups. And start. Just a few more. And come on back to standing. We're going to do some spin jumps paired with an alternating front leg raise. So just from a squat position, spinning 180 degrees. And just alternate the direction that you go each time. and we'll do an alternating front leg raise next. So thinking about good balance and keeping the pace up, whatever you can manage while keeping your balance.
and let's do those spin jumps again. Keep the pace up. Just 10 seconds to go. Great. And one more set of those alternating front leg raises. We'll do a ski squat with a side leg lift next. Legs close together for the ski squat and alternating the side leg raise. Eight seconds to go. We'll do arm circles forwards. So keeping up the pace, this will fly by. Give your lower body a bit of a break. And we're back to those ski squats with the leg lift. Just 12 seconds to go. Keeping those legs nice and close together for the ski squat. Maintaining balance. And we're back to those forward arm circles. Keeping up a little march with the feet and thinking about holding volleyballs in your hands and not dropping them. Keep the pace up. Next, we'll do a curtsy lunge and pair that with arm circles backwards. Okay, start those curtsy lunges. A nice exercise for the glutes, hamstrings. Almost done. And we'll do arm circles backwards next. Start it up, keeping those volleyballs up. Just 10 seconds to go. And we'll move back to the curtsy lunges. There we go. Back and forth. Try to keep the pace up. And last set of arm circles coming up. We'll do them backwards again.
Okay, we'll be moving into our last pair of exercises. We'll do burpees and plank ups. Off you go for the burpees. Trying to keep up a good pace here. Get the most out of this 20 seconds. Next up is plank ups. Starting from elbow plank, moving up to full plank position. Alternate which arm you're starting with each time. Just five to go. And come on back up for our last round of burpees. Nice jump, legs out quick and back up. Just 10 seconds to go. See how many you can get in the next 10 seconds. Go, go. And come on back down to the mat for the last set of plank, plank ups. Elbow plank to full plank and repeat. Let's take a 45 second recovery here and then we'll move into the strength portion of the workout. We're gonna target the core. We'll have five exercises, 10 reps each, or 20 seconds for the plank that we'll hold. And we'll go through those five exercises two times. Starting with curl ups, we're doing 10 of these. Feet nicely planted, elbows out to the side. Don't let them come forward towards the midline. And we're almost done, 10 reps. We'll do penguin next. So put your hands under your butt and it's like a short scissor action. And these go by so fast that we're gonna do 20 total, so 10 on each side. Okay, and lower back planted into the mat, pressed into the mat, maintaining a 90 degrees on the knee. And these are the Pilates toe taps, so 10 total of these. Just slowly lowering down to touch the toe. I'm trying to maintain that 90 degree angle at the knee. Mine looks like a bit more than 90 degrees. I'll do an oblique crunch next. 10 total of these. So just crunching up to the opposite side. And the last exercise in the set is a plank for 20 seconds. Nice elbow plank position and begin. That's about halfway. And that's 20 seconds. So just back down onto your back, 
we'll do those curl ups again. This is the second round. And that's one, two, three, You can do these at your pace. You don't have to use my pace. And the next one is the penguin. Hands under you. Short scissor. Like a short scissor walk. Do the Pilates toe taps next. Thinking about pressing your lower back into the into the mat. Slowly lowering to tap the toe and come on back up. And that's ten. We'll do the oblique crunch next. And our last one in the strength set is the plank for 20 seconds. Nice firm plank position. Almost done. And that is it. Well done. Just move into a little stre stretch uh, segment to warm down with. First step is thread the needle, one of my favorites. Do this on the right side. So lifting up with the right arm and threading through the space between your left arm and your left leg. Trying to get your shoulder onto the mat, your right shoulder onto the mat. And taking some nice breaths. Reach that left arm way up and thread it through. And breathe into that. Should feel pretty nice in the shoulder and the back, the side body. Let's do a child's pose next. Nice relaxing stretch. Feel free to move a bit side to side, whatever feels good. Stretching out those arms. Let's stretch out our lower back. Uh, first on the left side. The left leg out and the right leg in, tucked in close. Coming down it as far as you can. And we'll switch it up to the other side now. Let's take that down the middle, nice hamstrings and inner thigh stretch.
We'll do a quad stretch first on the left side. Thinking about your balance here is a good opportunity. And moving to the right side now. We'll do a standing IT band stretch next. So left leg over right and reaching down to the left side. Should feel this on the IT band on the right. And we'll shift to the other side. And how about just a forward fold to feel good? And a nice slow roll out to standing. And we're done. You got a bit of everything in this one, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time at Top of the Hill. Remember to subscribe for weekly workouts and great art.